Hello everyone, as promised, the haul video, yay. I'm gonna set a timer for about 30 minutes and then see how far we've gotten. Cause I could probably just talk forever. So here we go, yeah, go. Okay, well, I went to a really great yard sale over the weekend. It was a fundraiser for a canine rescue. And there was lots of stuff there, but most of it was like dog toys, dog beds, dog everything. I mean, this whole yard was filled with these things, bags and bags, lots of new stuff. And they were priced to sell, you know, one to three dollars for most things. So I got a whole bunch of stuff. I actually went back Sunday because it was so good. I felt like I had left a lot of money on the table and uh, I got a lot more stuff. And But I wanted to tell you what fun it was when we well, whenever I bring bags in after yard sales, my dog Chelsea, who's a foxhound beagle mix, you know, they're all about the nose and smelling things like all dogs are, of course. But she always will smell everything when I bring it in. Boy, did she go crazy when I brought in bags and bags of stuff with all these dog smells. But anyway, that was fun. Always exciting around here on Saturdays for the dog. So uh, they were, I also went to a, several yard sales this last weekend and the weekend before where I got uh, one lady gave away a bunch of free stuff I talked a little bit about that or you know I made one of these videos and in it I heard uh, in it Chelsea started barking upstairs and it just got went on forever and I just thought well that's gonna be annoying to some people it's very annoying to hear dog barking so I thought well I'll redo it I still have it and I might still put it out there but, uh, and people who don't like it can just turn it off. But uh, anyways, in that one, I talked about this yard sale where I went and she was actually had racks and racks of clothes and she was giving it away. She just didn't want to take it in. And it was decent stuff. It was definitely decent stuff. And I think this is one of those from there. This is Banana Republic Medium. Uh, I'm gonna put woman's shirt blue and white pattern short sleeve top stretch and I'm starting that I'm not starting that I'm I'm just selling it on a buy it now for $13.99 and the buyer play, pays $6.99 shipping I'm just gonna talk about random stuff okay here's a fun one this was at uh, a Boy Scout fundraiser let's see if I can find well I have a pair of them but anyways, they're called Adidas All Adidas All Odds shoes. And I did a quick search while I was there. He wanted five dollars for them. Did a quick search and it looked interesting. So I took them for five dollars and it is interesting. I'm starting them on auction for twenty nine ninety nine because they don't have laces and they're pretty beat up, but there was one pair that looked like it sold for several hundred dollars over in the United Kingdom. And then there was one that looked like it sold for about $39 at an auction and it looked much nicer than this. So we'll see what happens. That's a pretty big jump there, 39 to hundreds of dollars. So I'm thinking it's gonna go more towards the 39. If I get $29 for it, I'll be happy. I don't, like I said, I don't do lots of shoes, but I know that some shoes can be worth lots and lots of money. Okay, that same yard sale, this Talbot's Paisley short sleeve size 12 non-iron stretch shirt. And I've got this for $19.99 and the buyer pays $5.99 shipping. And at this dog fundraiser, there was also lots of clothing. Very well priced. This is called herringbone tweed, that pattern. Look in here. I don't do lots of blazers, but they were these were like $3, two or three dollars. Um, to find the size when in blazers, you look in the pockets. And this one is size 40 medium, and it's there's a thing, it says, it's St. Michael Marks and Spencer Pure New Wool, made in the UK. And I am 
listing this one, starting it at, I'm not starting it, why do I keep saying that? I am listing it for $49.99 with $9.99 shipping. Um, if you wanna learn about suits, uh, go and watch Thrift of Life's video. Thrift of Life does a lot on suits. I don't do a lot on suits. I've never had too much luck with them. But like I said, this I know this herringbone tweed is a nice, popular brand and everything. The price, everything was right about it. So I'll give it a try. And in the same venue, another blazer jacket, L.L. Bean Traveler. People like stuff like this. It's a navy blue blazer jacket with brass buttons. They, this is a popular overall style, okay? And these are easy to spot. The only problem with this one that I didn't notice, I probably still would've got it because I don't know that much about suits, but I'm realizing that this might be a little bit of an issue. The size is a little weird. It's 41 tall. And there were like, well, let me go back. When I checked the sell through on this, this is how I did it. I put in the name of this and there was nothing listed. Then I just put, um, the name of, I put navy blue brass button suit coat 41 tall. Several came up, but none were sold. So I don't know if that's kind of an odd size, but again, we'll see what happens. I'm having this for $39. One thing I noticed that the ones that did sell weren't 41 talls, they were 41 longs. And in my mind, that is the same thing, maybe. So I put 41 tall and then little long question mark. So maybe that'll get it some more hits. You gotta be creative. You gotta think what's going on. Another thing I noticed with that herringbone tweed one was most of the one, ones that were listed were listed in uh, United Kingdom. There was nothing like that listed here for sale. So, then you look at the sell-through and it's sort of, um, what's the word? Distorts, I think, maybe what the true sell-through might be for somebody selling it in the United States for a lot less shipping. There was tons and tons of dog toys. Um, this one was organic. And again, they were all about a dollar. So I thought, well, organic is good. And this is a... Simply Fido organic bird rope toy, and I've got it for $9.99 <clears throat> plus $5.99 shipping. Now, uh, the reason I, I started a little higher than what I would take for it, and I will put it on sale if it doesn't sell in a um, in about a month. I'm thinking, I was just thinking in my head, another good keyword for that might be stocking stuffer, dog stocking stuffer, because I know I buy lots of stocking stuffers for my two cats, my dog, my son's three dogs and six cats, my daughter's three cats, you know, so, you know, if I don't sell any of these toys, I'm just going to keep them for Christmas presents for the future for several years. I mean, I got about 60 or 70 of these toys. So, where was I? Um, oh yeah, so um, one of the reasons, somebody asked me if I charge shipping for everything. I do charge shipping for everything. One of the reasons I do that is because my kind of way to list is I start things at a good price, a very um, just price to sell. You know, if, if there's 10 of them and they're all $14.99, I'll go for at $14.49. So I start out very strong, and then if it doesn't sell in 30 days, I lower the price by 20%, and I add a best offer. Sometimes I try to add a best offer out after about three weeks before I put it on sale to see if that stirs up any pre-sale interest. And then, so a lot of times I will get, a, a get some low offers and, uh, I always check what my shipping is on that because it, I just, in my mind, it's all one thing. You know, it's all one total price. That's how I shop too. Um, I just look for lowest price plus shipping. And if the person has free shipping or not, it doesn't make any difference to me. I really think that's how most people shop. 
anyways, that way I'm also never, I'm ne I always know that there's going to be a, some shipping paid and it uh, helps me deal with best offers a little bit better, I think. And uh, yeah, so, okay. And then this was another dog toy, a r rubber duck. I thought it was vintage and just seemed cool, but it's called Rollover Red Rover and I've got it for $8.99. So plus $5.99 shipping. So that's just a little something. Okay, I got about 30 of these old world Christmas different types of dog ornaments. Christmas is here. These were a dollar each and I am selling them for about, oh, I think about $12.99. Yes, $12.99 plus $5.99 shipping. I think I should get that uh, with Christmas here and everything. I sold this. Let's see, what else do we got here? Some of this I may have, well, I got another one of these Simply Fido. And I got one Wiley B. Now here's a problem I'm having with this one and I don't know if anyone can help me, but it it's insisting that I put a UPC code in there. I mean, I put this UPC code on the bottom in and it just never takes it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. If I can't list it separately somehow, I'm not gonna spend forever trying to figure it out. Uh, maybe I'll put it a, a lot of three and I won't put the title in or something. I don't know. Or I'll just save it for my my babies. Um, okay, I got a whole bunch. I didn't check prices or comps on these yet, but I got a whole bunch of these silk scarves for about a dollar each. And a lot of them are designers uh, like Christian Dior and uh, other ones. They're going away from my head right now. Oh, this isn't a scarf. This is a, a men's looks like kind of a travel type shirt. The brand is Paradise Found out of Honolulu, Hawaii. And that is good. I didn't check this at all, but um, when things are made in Hawaii, and that looks very uh, vintage. Made in Hawaii, yeah, that is good. That's really good. Um, rayon medium. Short sleeve, I'll probably get, gosh, I could get anywhere really in my head from 20 to $40. So we'll see. And you know, I, I got other stuff here, hold on. The rest of the stuff I didn't look up, so let's just, I'll just grab stuff and go through it. It's banana, another Banana Republic top. This was out of that free yard sale, probably $14.99, something for that. This is a, another Banana Republic, kind of a semi-sheer blue and white long sleeve blouse, maybe a size medium, floral, tw uh, probably $20 plus shipping for that. This is new with tags. There's lots of new with tags at this dog uh, fundraiser. Talbots. It's medium. It's like a lightweight cardigan sweater. Retails $79.99. That was like a dollar. So maybe 25 for that plus shipping. And here's a Lauren Ralph Lauren. Medium. 100% cotton, sh long sleeve, lightweight, lime green blouse, button up. Button up because it does not have the little button that you button there, but it is button up. If it has the button there, you button down because you're buttoning down that collar. Um, yep, cotton, good. New with no, that one wasn't new with tag, was it? Looks new. A lot of these that weren't new with tag looks new. Okay, here's I got lots of this type of stuff. Talbot's medium linen. Probably call that a coral. Uh, I think you call this a popover. 
I'm still learning. Still learning what you call everything. But I know a lot more than I did five years ago. So here's another Talbot's medium. This is pure Irish linen. Another, uh, I would think this is a three quarter sleeve blouse. I'll steam these if they're wrinkled. I like to take a nice picture, but I don't go crazy with it. But I, I kind of like steaming. It's very zen. I don't know. Just seeing those wrinkles come out. Oh. Thing that's like a little makeover that you do on your clothing. All right, here we go. Talbot's blue and red. This probably be nice for Christmas. Anything with Christmas colors. I guess blue isn't really Christmas large. Uh, cardigan, sweater, it's cotton rayon. So maybe 25 for that. It's nice. Talbot's is super expensive in the mall from what I remember. I haven't gone shopping in the mall for years, but I remember I used to go to Talbot's and it was, I couldn't afford it. I mean, you know, I look for something on sale. So, all right, here's a brand I'd never heard of before. Alex dress size 16 and I just like the paisley kind of boho color it's sleeveless sort of a halter halter type uh, this is uh, looks like it's kind of got an opening here I don't know what to call you call it anyways oh no it's more like pleated okay that's why I couldn't figure it out oh uh, maybe twenty dollars for that maxi is in it's lined i put that in there oh here's an interesting one <clears throat> some stuff you just gotta pick it up you know you just gotta you gotta use your intuition to an extent don't go crazy okay i'm looking for tag but there is no tag that's what was interesting look at this it's like a embroidered shift dress i just thought it was beautiful to like a festival or a outdoor picnic or something but there's no tag so honestly look it's handmade I just got like shiveries wow. so I'll take measurements on this I'll do research it was probably maybe made in Mexico or something like that I don't know oh it's got a little uh no I don't know what that is Looks like it was just where it began, kind of, and they started it. Anyways, interesting. Um, I think this was with the free stuff. Who wouldn't pick that up, right? 25, 30, I don't know exactly. But I'm guessing around there. This is 100% cotton J. Crew size 6, just striped blouse. It's got this... Uh, Whatever you call that, I can't, it's getting out of my head. It'll come to me, not rooched. Where is it? Anyways, it's maybe, I'm feeling just like $12.99, 12 or $15 maybe. Six, it's a small, it's not bad. It's another J. Crew, small, uh, cotton, long sleeve, boat neck, I would say, shirt, and maybe. 12 plus shipping for that. J. Crew Perfect Fit, size 12, long sleeve. I'm pretty sure this is linen. Feels like linen. You get so that you can feel. Yep, 100% linen. You can just feel and tell quality fabrics and linen after a while. <clears throat> wool cashmere that sort of thing sometimes cashmere you got to be make sure you look because sometimes something feels cashmere to me it, it isn't Talbot's new with tag medium retails for $69.50 just a nice blouse feels very very comfortable and soft so maybe 22 or something I'll start them at that but you know when you pay a dollar for something it really gives you a lot of choices. <laughs> you can go low and you can accept low offers and that's what I do. I just keep things moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Irish Linen Talbots, 
100% linen medium another and there was just like as you can see there's so many of these long sleeve I will steam that oh yeah so I was talking about steaming I like steaming stuff um I mean I don't go crazy with it I'd rather not but I I don't mind doing it and it's kind of relaxing actually I'll listen to something or listen to music and uh yeah the 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 photos, you know, you don't have much, you, you have things you can control in eBay, and one of them is how your photos look. So if it's, if you can steam it or iron it and make it look better and uh, take pictures that look fairly good, you're going to be in an advantage, at an advantage over other people. I mean, I know when I look at the pictures, I, um, if there's a choice between two and one was iron and one wasn't I'd go with the iron one so um, I was trying to think about what my customers want you know kind of work backwards on prices and the way things look and my communications um, people who shop on eBay want a good deal with inflation now and everything that's gonna even be more more bigger <laughs> more um, I think there's going to be a lot more people shopping on eBay as in the next year or two. I think people are going to, not just because prices are up, but because of supply chain problems. I heard this, I read this last week, that there are some department stores and things that just can't get certain things. So, anyways, this is Talbot's, brand new, 6960. Feels like cotton blue polka dot it seems like a nice just piece to have and your yeah 100% cotton a nice career type top be 25 for that okay here is and these were all I think these were the ones that were at the canine thing for a dollar or two here's Talbot's again new new with tag retails 79.50 Nice, bright, sort of magenta. Maybe 20 or 25 for that. Uh, this was in there. It's just a Talbot's top. I'll probably just keep that because I like having those little things in different colors. There's another Land's End. This is linen medium white top. Maybe 25, 20. Another Talbot's new with tag. Well, it's got buttons, not a tag, but it's this linen too. Oh, there's a tag. Guessing 79 70. 78. Mm. That's cute. That's really cute. I might even put the word nautical on this because wouldn't that kind of have that boat look colors? Colors. Another Talbot's, another linen. Let me get some other things here. I, want to, I don't want to just do Talbot's linen, Talbot's linen, Talbot's linen. You know, $20 for this. Talbot's linen. Let me look around here and see if there's anything else of interest. This was another jacket. It's got a real interesting fabric. Kind of a cotton. Feels super comfy. It's got this great lining. Blue stripe lining and the brand is something I've well you know I've heard of this territory ahead actually I think this is a pretty good brand 42 regular and paid like two or three dollars for that and oh, I don't want to keep doing the same stuff that I've done over and over let me see what we got here Excuse me. Oh, this is a whole bag of do more dog toys Sorry about this. Sorry about this. All right, here is a nice shearling lined hooded vest. This was one dollar at the. It's uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren, petite large. I don't know, maybe thirty dollars or something for that. Very nice. This fall is coming here. Oh, here's something. 
This we got at a yard sale, different yard sale. It's an Atlas 150 new, never used pasta make pasta making machine. We got it for 10 and there is a good sell through rate, $60, $70 easily. Very heavy, so I definitely put calculated shipping on that. Here is a jacket and the brand is J Crew, 100% linen. Whoever donated this stuff had good taste in clothes and they really liked linen. And I appreciate that. So I think this is a feels the size of a men's. So I'll have to do some research on that. Here is a Land's End men's plaid shirt, short sleeve, large, could be linen, cotton, cotton. Well, this is just the type of stuff I get. I just look for the higher quality, nicer pieces, I guess. This is J. Jill Love Linen Capri Pants. And I like to do clothes because you can usually get them at a good price as we are seeing here. Here is L. This was from the free brand. It, it's a size small. L is usually, I thought, I might be wrong, but I thought it was more plus size. But anyways, it's just a little top for maybe $10. Mm -mm, okay. Having a good time. Hem and thread, medium, sleeveless top, kind of Boho, boho, uh, maybe ten dollars for that. And oh, this is nice. Lands and women regular fourteen to sixteen. This is very kind of nice prairie core. Nice pair of boots with that, or leather shoes, or something. I don't know. Maybe 25 for this. Oh. What else? What else? Well, I think we'll we'll call it a haul video. And uh, yeah, this is going to be kind of an experiment to see how long this takes to load, because uh, that's another thing I'm finding is it takes a long time for the longer ones to load. But if you like long ones, make it take. Tell me in the comments. Um, what's your ideal length? What's your ideal eBay podcast? You know, like I like the ones where I can sit and do stuff and somebody's kind of talking in the background and I'm learning as I'm doing, um, but that I don't have to necessarily look at it all the time, if you know what I mean, because I multitask when I listen to them mostly. I, I do something else. So if they're telling me I got this, but they're not talking about what brand it is. Um, uh, that I don't like that, but, uh, and, uh, I like the ones where the people go in and show what they're doing at the thrift store. But, um, those are ones that I watch when I, you know, like I am looking right at, it. I, I hope I'm making sense, but what kind do you like? What is the optimal length? For you is it under 10 minutes do you like the shorter ones do you like the longer ones um yeah what what would you like to well i don't want to say what would you like to learn about because there's so much stuff i don't know like if you said we want to hear about electronics no uh, <laughs> but on that point if you don't it for me i think if you want to learn about clothing and and hard goods and just kind of a miscellaneous i'm good um, Lavender Clothesline is very good with that. I learn a lot from her. Another person I like is Common Threads. And uh, she's very down to earth. And uh, Thrift Life is down to earth and does a lot of clothing. Um, I like the Crazy Lamp Lady for hard goods. She doesn't do a lot of clothing. But uh, sometimes I can't... See, I try to watch the people to learn from, I like to watch everything, but sometimes I want to focus on what I am going to actually uh, 
find myself. Like, um, there's one gal who does online auctions a lot and she makes great money, Cat the Nurse Flipper. But I looked at them, it's just not my thing. Um, I've been to auctions a few times, in-person auctions. I really like that, but I, when I look at this and I calculate how much shipping and everything, uh, it just becomes too much. But she's really good at that. So if you're interested in online auctions, check her out. And she does everything too. But uh, the point I'm trying to make is, like, I don't watch somebody who's flipping used electronics, you know, like vintage VCRs and stuff. I'm not... I don't like doing that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. So if you want to learn about clothing and just kind of miscellaneous stuff and hear some fun stories along the way, stick around. Let me know. And I'm Dream Deals 123 on eBay. And I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube.